Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. It's your boy JNark, aka Chris the World, and today we have some breaking news as JJ Watt signed with the Arizona Cardinals. He made a, an announcement on his IG with a, a Cardinals shirt on, and he says, Source me. So, the JJ Watt sweepstakes is now over with a shocker with JJ Watt going to the Cardinals. And guess what we're about to do? We're about to put JJ Watt on the Cardinals, we're about to sign him as he's a free agent. We're about to sign him onto the team. And they signed him to like a two-year, $31 million contract, like with $23 million guaranteed. So we just signed JJ. And we're just going to see how, how much he's going to help this team. They just went from an 81 defense to an 84 defense. So we're going to see if this is going to be the, the pushing point for the Cardinals to make the playoffs. As with everything else, we're honestly going to keep the same. Everything else we're going to keep the same just like this. And the defense will just have JJ on that D line and Chandler Jones pass rushing and Hassan Reddick helping out. It's gonna be very interesting to see what happens with this team. But yeah, this is what the D line looks like with um JJ Watt now added along with Chris Chandler Jones. So we're gonna we're gonna see if uh if this is the answer. So first game is against the Niners. We're obviously gonna upgrade the players weekly. Should we go weekly? Now we're gonna go by mid, by from like regular season from start point to mid season and see if uh JJ Watts an impact. Mid season, it's a bye. We are five and two in this tough division with Matt Stafford who's on the Rams. Russell was wow, okay, we're five and two, not too bad, not too bad. We're facing the three and five Dolphins. So the Cardinals are looking looking like some contenders right now. Um Let's see statistically what's going on. So the offense is 14th, and the defense is second. Wow, they have the second-ranked defense in the NFL. Kyler Murray has 16 touchdowns, four picks. Kenyon Drake's actually having a good year so far. So so is D-Hop. Solid, solid year so far. Okay, Chandler Jones only has two sacks. Marcus Golden has five. Chandler Jones has two. Corey Peters has two. Zach, J.J. Watt has two. And Zach Allen has two. So the, the the front seven is getting it done. The front seven is definitely getting it done. And Sherwin Jones got a pick as well. Front seven is getting it done. Um, so we're five and two. And um, let's see if uh, they can make. They did not make the playoffs. After being five and two, the Cardinals finished eight and eight. Wow. Wow. We were five and two. Then after the bye, we lost six games and only won three. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. Niners finished seven and nine. Seahawks finished ten and six. Rams finished eleven and five. So tough division, and then they still didn't make it. So hopefully that's not the case in real life. But we got the Rams and the Seahawks that made the playoffs. Wait, did I just see the Texans on there? Don't tell me the Texans made it. Oh, okay, they didn't. That would be some shit if the Texans made the playoffs. That would be crazy. Um, so first year they didn't make it. Offense was ninth defense was first day we had the first defense in the, the first ranked defense in the nfl 30 touchdowns 10 picks but we didn't make the playoffs we had a thousand yard rusher in Kenyon drake two a thousand yard receivers bro and we had the number one ranked defense but yet we didn't make the playoffs marcus golden eight sacks chandler jones five sacks jj watt three and a half Corey peters three and a half so what happened here i don't understand why didn't these guys make the why didn't we make the playoffs we had the number one ranked defense we had top 10 offense and defense that's very shocking to see. Um, so Chargers beat the Saints 42 to seven in the Super Bowl. We have to do some re-signing here. First person that comes into mind is JJ Watt. He wants a two-year contract. We're gonna have to give it to him. But he wants to test out free agency. A franchise tag is 20 million. We're gonna have to franchise tag him to a 20-year deal. Okay. And then Dan Arnold, a tight end. We're going to have to sign him as well. Sign him as a backup. Jar Easy, right guard, five mil deal. I don't think he'll mind this. He thinks free agency will be better in the long run. We need a punter. He wants to test out free agency. Cool. Marcus Gilbert, right tackle. We're going to keep you around because we need the protection for 
Okay, but if everyone wants to test out free agency, that's not going to help us out. Everyone wants to test out free agency all of a sudden. Dennis Gardeck, you got the kicker back. Corey Peters played pretty well. Be a captain along with JJ Wild. Definitely would want to run it back. I don't think that would be too bad. He wants to play for a new team next year. Okay. Devondre Campbell, middle linebacker. Help us out with depth, of course. He's back on the team as well. Drake Kirkpatrick, a corner. 31, 73 overall. Wouldn't be too bad to have on the team as, as depth as well. Still like to play for a new team next year. Marcus Golden had a good year. He had eight sacks. So I don't think it would be too bad keeping him as well. But everyone wants to go to everyone wants to test free agency. Hassan Reddick, we, we want to keep you around, obviously. Okay, so we got Hassan Reddick back. And then Kenyon Drake, 27-year-old running back. He just had a thousand yards, so we'll sign him. He's just not interested in signing. Okay, so we're gonna let these guys walk. We're gonna we're gonna sign Patrick Peterson back because I know he'll want to run it back with JJ. See if they try one more time. What's a five five million dollar deal? I don't think it would be too bad. But he wants to test out free agency. Nobody wants to re-sign. Nobody. Interesting. Everyone has given up hope for uh, the cards. We have 14 million available in cap. Left tackle is good. Quarterback situation is good. Running back situation is all right. Fullback, we don't need one. Receivers are good. Tight end is straight. Left tackle is good. Left guard is good. Center is good, you could say. Right guard, probably sign someone like Brian Winters to a deal. Probably sign Brian Winters to a deal like this one. Right tackle, we don't have anyone either. And they're probably signing DJ Fluker to a deal. Signing DJ Fluker, JJ Watt. D line needs some people, of course. Sign someone like Tim Settle. It's the best deal we could offer him. And then there's the cornerback position, which we definitely need an upgrade on. But we're just going to have to. Hope that they draft someone. <laughs> let's hope that we draft someone. And um, let's send to next season and see what the team looks like. Let's look at the depth chart. See the team really quick. As we have Kyler running back. We have three running backs. Chase Edmonds. Receiver. We have DeAndre. So it looks like our boy retired. Our boy Larry Fitz retired. So he didn't get that chip that he wanted. Tight end situation is straight. Got DJ Humphreys there. Justin Pugh. Center is still Mason Cole. Right guard, we did not draft anyone. Right tackle, we were able to get DJ Fluker. That's nice. JJ Watt's still here on this side of things. We do need a corner. We ended up drafting a corner named Gabe Sims, so I knew that was going to happen. So we got a good amount of corners. All right, so we kind of have a squad here. Kind of have a squad. And I guess with free agents, they would sign a tight end just to, just to help out with, the, with their situation. I feel like they would sign a D tackle and a, and a tight end. So we would sign um, Seth the Valve. To be that to be that depth player, that depth, depth player, geez. And then they would sign someone like an old dude, Tyson Alawalu. He would fit the scheme for this team. And he would help out with the pass rush as well. So let's look at the team now. As this is the offense, as the right guard position obviously is weak, but the offense is still pretty solid. D-line, pretty solid now. We got Tyson Alawalu back. We will always sign him to the team. And um, got a good front seven here. So we're just going to have to see how these guys play. And if J.J. Watt can really be the answer for these guys. So so let's upgrade these players and see if uh, J.J. Watt can help this team make the playoffs. If not, then the Cardinals are not it for... Um, will not be the right choice for JJ Watt just from this simulation alone.
And as we sim to the playoffs, they did not make it again. They went six and ten this year, as the Niners and Seahawks both went nine and seven. So, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't look like from just the simulation alone? It doesn't look like the Cardinals are looking too hot, yo. With this being the spot for JJ Watt, you know, because they had the twenty third offense, and then the defense was third in the NFL. They had a top three defense still with having J.J. Watt, but it still was not enough. So we're going to have to see if that's not the case because it was, it's not looking too hot. It wasn't looking too hot in this um in this franchise. J.J. Watt did have 12 sacks, though. They had 12 sacks, while Chandler Jones had nine, so they complimented each other this year. But I don't know. It's not looking too well for them. It's definitely not. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. This was just a two-year sim to see how J.J. Watt would fit on the Cardinals. They do become a top-ranked defense, though, two years in a row being number one and number three back-to-back, -back, but it still wasn't enough to help them make the playoffs. So we're just going to have to see how they do in real life. If you guys enjoyed watching the video, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. And um, remember, guys, you got to be a fiend to succeed. Peace.